a very good evening. We do appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching the Uganda Catholic Television. I am Sunday Gloria Aboch with the Thursday edition of UCTV News. And to start off with the Archbishop of Kampala, His Grace, Paul Semogedere, has called upon Christians to embrace the forthcoming National Population Housing Census for better planning of the country. This has been in his message during the Uganda Bureau of Statistics team's visit at his home in Lubaga today to ask him to rally the Catholic community to embrace the census exercise. I would like on behalf of the Archdiocese of Kampala to, to assure you that we, we have embraced, I would like to embrace this program, it's good for the country, it is so good. it's also good for us, I would like to know how many Catholics we are how many other religions we are dealing with that we can interact with in case we need, how many poor people we can plan for if we can. Uh, so that is very good information for the country and for all of us. And I would like to encourage you. What I would need to do is that to request you that you, you do it accurately, you know, instead of guessing and imagining and, and because we need accurate things in Uganda. I would like to encourage everybody all the Christians, all the believers, all the people of the country to embrace this, this program as good for a country. I would request that we, those officials, officers who are going to do the work to be friendly to the people so that it doesn't come as a, as a, a must, but, but as an appeal, uh, so that people can embrace it and, and appreciate it. As, uh, for, uh, and, and know that it is good for them as well as as a, as a, as a countrymen and women. So on behalf of the Archdiocese of Kampala, I wish to thank Uganda Bureau of Statistics and the government of Uganda for enabling this very important exercise. I am aware, I'm aware that the National Population and Housing Census provides fundamental statistical data and information which is necessary for planning for our population. The information is not only important to the government, but also for the church and all over the country and beyond. As the Catholic Church, we want to pledge our support towards this cause and to call upon the Catholic community and all the faithful to, to prepare support and cooperate with all the field census staff by providing accurate information to all their questions. Good enough that we have been given the public holiday on that day, we have no excuses of being absent. We can stay home and uh, wait for the officers to come and take uh, this information. It's in private, it's confidential, I've been told and I, uh, and so are good now, as Uganda joined the rest of the world yesterday to celebrate the International Labor Day, a section of legislators uh, from the opposition suggests that government officials should have used such a day to reflect on the living standards or, standards or conditions of many Ugandans, including the rampant land grabbing and evictions by high profile individuals in the country. The Shadow Minister for Lands, Alutama Guzi, Makula indicates that all the land injustices take place under the watch of the line authorities with some officials involved in the evictions. Every Ugandan has a right to own the land. Regardless of which political party you fall to, regardless of where you come from, it is your right to own land and it is your right to, 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 for, for government to fight for you. But I've seen most of government agencies which are supposed to protect these Ugandans are just given up because the people are supposed to take the leading role, especially those who in, uh, 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 in land-related matters have kept it a bay. It's none of their business. And even some people who try to go to courts of law to seek redress, they just get out just empty-handed because they are very... I think sh this should have been the right time for many government officials especially those who are in line of, 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 of protecting citizens of this country, to think about the, 
the living conditions of many Ugandans. There are so many Ugandans who are being evicted from their lands by land grabbers, by the so-called high-profile officials in government, by those who, high, those who are highly connected in government. So it's, this should have been the right time to start thinking about Ugandans, that every Ugandan has a right to own a Chivanja. And finally, from our local stories, uh, St. Don Bosco Namaliga Bombo graduated 205 students in different uh, vocational skills. Uh, the occasion was graced by the Bishop of Cotido, his Lordship Bishop Dominique Eubu, alongside Monsignor Francis Xavier Mpanga, who represented the Kasana Luwero Bishop. It is from here that Monsignor Francis Xavier Mpanga emphasized the importance of character and responsible citizenship in their journey ahead. All this happened at the Thanksgiving Mass at Our Lady Queen of Martyrs Church, Namaliga Luero. As the Mass commenced, the voices of the congregation rose in unison, blending seamlessly with the melodies of the choir in the presence of the clergy, whose guidance and mentorship had shaped their journey and surrounded by love and support of their families. The church hall of Our Lady Queen of Martyrs, Namaliga Parish, an atmosphere of joy filled the air as students adorned to their finest attire gathered to celebrate a milestone of their academic journey. With hearts full of gratitude and voices raised in harmony, the graduation class eagerly awaited the commencement of the Mass, marking both an end and a new beginning. <laughs> The Thanksgiving Mass took a profound significance as it was animated by the esteemed presence of His Lordship Bishop Dominique Ayibu, the Bishop of Cotido Diocese, and graced by the enlightening homily delivered by Monsignor Francis Xavier Mpanga, representing the Bishop of Casana Luero. He emphasized discipline and character as they go out into the world. You have acquired, acquired a lot of uh, knowledge while here. You also came to acquire discipline of character and I'm sure you have done so. Many of you could have been freelancers before you came to this institution. For example, you might have been used to waking up at any time you want without any timetable to follow. But during your stay here, you have learned to wake up at a particular hour. You have learned to be timetable driven. And I'm sure that you may even copy a leaf from the discipline you have learned here and carry it with you to your respective places of work, wherever you will be. This is very good. Acquiring discipline of character. Maybe some of you might be even the ones to tell the others wherever you will be that this shouldn't be done. This shouldn't be said. You should be at work as early as you can. Don't arrive late. That is acquisition of discipline of character. To be well composed. To know how to relate with your fellow human beings and also to relate with your God. With the skills they had acquired, he encouraged them to use them for a complete life. He, however, urged them to be responsible citizens. The skills you have acquired are intended to prepare you for a complete living. By putting into action what you have learned here in your various skills, you are going to start earning a living. You are going to start fending for yourselves. You are going to start caring for yourselves from the money that you will be earning. Some of you might even be taking on bigger responsibilities like caring for your relatives. Can I also add children? Yes? And also maybe the renting bit of it. These are some of the things you are going to begin doing. So remember that the skills you have acquired are intended to prepare you for a complete living. Don't be wasted because of the influence of other factors like bad groups, the taking of drugs, excessive drinking of alcohol. 
The Mass was commenced by His Lordship Bishop Dominic Eyibu, the Bishop of Kotido Diocese. The Bishop later officiated the ceremony, which was characterized by a showcase of talent and skills of the students. Years in here, you will not be the same. You can make a change. The society that we are living in today need the people with the skills. Because once you have your skill, there's nothing that you can do again and begin to look for a job. People will begin to look for you. We want to encourage everybody to go skilling. It's the way forward today because to be sincere after this course. A student is assured of self-employment. So I would like to encourage all the parents out there and the country at large to support uh, these training institutions. Nora Osende for UCTV News. And from that, let's get straight into Today in History. Once again, thank you for watching UCTV News. We are going to take a break and we'll be back shortly. UCTV, good news for all. Catch incredible stories of the day. Success. You can manage that money. With a topping of inspiration. Get interested in people, not interested in yourself. Inspire, achieve, repeat. You are watching UCTV, good news for all. For this and more, tune in to Kasese Get Radio 100.5 in Western Region, located at the hill of the Diocese of Kasese. KGR brings you all Catholic programs and an advertising platform in all our radio shows like Good Morning Renzori, Chama Tovoka, Ukute, The Business Show, Propeller, The Request Show and Sports, Evaluation, Bahinga Bakuluka, Late Night Show and many others. Our other services include Isuzu Tipa, a no car, public address system, live band, Omoke Kera, an audio recording studio, and outside live broadcast. For more information, call 0773-597-166 or visit our website www.kasesegetradio.com. Kasesegat Radio, Omusondoria, the voice of truth. UCTV, good news for all. And in a few weeks, Uganda will be celebrating the Uganda Martyrs. And now the Uganda Catholic Television, specifically UCTV News, is bringing you a feature on each of the martyrs. And today we are going to bring you a story of Saint Atanas Bazekuketa. <laughs> Saint Athanasius Vazakukaita Kiza was a Muganda of the Monkey Clan. His father was Kafero Kavaru Sebagala. The mother was Namukwaya Kadulivali Nalongo of the Buffalo Clan. The mother was born at Chikuma near Mulaje Parish in Bulemezi County. Vazakukaita 
was taken to the palace of King Mwanga II and became a page under the leadership of Charles Luanga, who soon instructed the boy to Catholicism. Bazeb Keta was a clean, orderly, faithful, and obedient boy. He was selected to be in charge of the king's ceremonial robes and ornaments. Athanasius was chosen to be in charge of the king's treasury of money and ivory, though he was still a boy. While he was performing his duties perfectly and taking the religious instructions seriously, King Mwanga started persecuting the Christians. Monday night of November 16th, 1885, 18 catechumens, in fear of being killed without receiving baptism, were baptized, Bazeko Keita included. He got the name Athanasius. Joseph Mukasa Barikudembe had been killed on the 15th of November, 1885. Athanasius was then arrested with his fellow Christians on Wednesday, 26th May, 1886. He was very happy and always eager to die for Christ. The next morning on their way to Namugongo, Mukajanga, the chief executioner, asked, Who would like to be killed here where your Christian leader, Barikudembe, was killed? At once, Athanasius answered, Here I am. Why delay me as if there is no death here and take me all the way to Namugongo? Athanasius was speared to death at Nachivubo where Bali Kudembe was murdered on Thursday morning, 27th of May, 1886, at the age about 20. Athanasius is patron of those in charge of finance, treasury, and banks. And finally, to wrap it up with sports news, uh, Jimmy Akena has been elected president of the Federation of Motorsports Clubs of Uganda, FMU, for the next four years. Akena had a rather easy victory, winning over his two rifles, George Kajimu and uh, John Barrows Lumu, in an election held on Wednesday at Katikati Restaurant in Lugogo. Hey, things work. It's, if you have a good team, a strong team, you are able to function. I do not have to micromanage. I believe in the team which the delegates have elected. We will be able to work together and be able to build on what was done previously. Um, we are definitely going to try to expand and see where we can um, be able to reach out and have um, events and championships which which will touch and which will be able to take um, to the general public, not uh, to just uh, leave it as a, um, as a small uh, niche sport, but we're going to try our level best to see how we can expand it and how we can reach various parts of the country. Definitely, that's the I'm going to see new young clubs, you know. Clubs were the 90 days, okay. then it's after you as usual. You know, the policy in Kaburunzi, but for the trainings, even one of my goals being unity. I believe that as one, there's been a few divisions here and there, but I'm there, I'm, I'm in this position, I'm going to make sure that I bridge the gap in all these divisions so that as stakeholders, we can take, as one, unity, we can take the sport to yet a higher level. One of my goals is to bring and lobby more sub sponsorship, support from different companies so that we build our sport to a higher level. Another goal of mine is the welfare, a welfare for us to build a wear foundation whereby this will help and, and go and help all those who are probably injured, uh, people who need help repairing their bikes to, to, to assist these people to, 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 to step up on their, on their game. And with that, it is a pleasure being a part of this uh, newscast. I'm Sunday Gloria Abwatch. Good evening and good night.